Nauseous. How do you feel, Sophie? Nauseous. Nauseous? I've never witnessed a quinceañera get sick before her dances. I'm about to watch the surprise dance, and I noticed that he's in the wrong spot. I was pissed. Alfredo could have cussed me out right there. Like, you're done, you're fired. Hi, guys! Are you guys excited? Yes! I think I'm gonna cry when I see the dance. No, dancers. literally. I'm gonna cry. No, I already told George. No, you better smile when you dance. Oh, oh yeah, cry. no, of course. They don't need criers. But, like, Yes, I feel like all her dances are just like so unique to her. Yes, definitely. They, they literally speak Sophia. Yeah. I'm excited. Today is Sophia's skin today. I'm feeling excited, nervous, scared, stressed. It's gonna be an epic day. Peso pluma? Yeah. So in my car, I have Johnny, Eric, and George. In the other car, we have Diego, Jonathan, and Medwin. Oh, okay, Johnny, I have something to tell you. When we say we're leaving, we are leaving, okay? Because every time we say we're leaving, you go and get seven girls' Instagrams, and then you say, okay, now I'm done. At Jaylene's, I told him, we're leaving already. He's like, okay, let me say bye to the mom. And he says bye to like seven different girls. Oh, and like, started dancing their with Instagram. the mom. He started, started dancing, dancing with And I'm like, like, you know what? I'm gonna tell you with an hour. Pants? I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tell him an hour before that we're leaving just so he can like do his whole, yeah. you know, his, his whole little errands and everything. I feel like Johnny is more like, doesn't care about what other, other people think about him. He's here because he loves dancing and it shows. I want people that are passionate for dance because that just makes a, a perfect chamberlain. Is your llama nice, Johnny? Well, she's kind of like quiet. Uh, I don't know. I She's nice, she's nice, she's cool. She's Johnny, again, has his unique personality and he, he just wants to make friends. So he's very friendly with these clients, with these girls, and I'm just scared that these girls are gonna take it differently and you know, just be like, hey, like, what's going on, you know? Do you think she's pretty? Well, like, she's pretty, but just not my type, you know? What's your type? I like someone who, who talks. <laughs> I'm sorry, but someone who talks? No, 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 no. What? At the end of the day, I do want this for all the boys, like make friends, create memories with these girls, and you know, just make the whole process fun. But in the back of my head, I'm always like, please, know what you're doing. Uh, Demi is gonna pay you? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah. You should just keep her a discount. This party coming up is a joint incest last sweet 16 for Mia and her sister. I'm lucky to be a part of it as one of her chambalanas. I am her mania. My, bro my little brother Eric is also in it too. I'm really excited to be in this quince, especially since due to COVID and all that stuff, she wasn't able to have her like actual quince. So having the sweet 16 is, you know, always been a dream of hers and me being able to be a part of it and stuff like that is really cool. And I was lucky enough to choreograph a duet for me and her at the end of her vows. Okay, let's go guys. Hi Sophie! Hi! You look so gorgeous! <laughs> you look gorgeous! Hi Sophie! Hi! Like, look at that, look at that. Say hi, how do you feel? I feel great. You look so beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Sophie, you look so good. Thank you. You're welcome, you look so good. So when we first got here, Sophia literally didn't care what she was doing. She just ran up to us and gave us a big hug. And that made me feel very like touched because we created such a big impact on her and on her life and everything. And it kind of just made me feel like this is why I love doing what I do. The boys were really excited to see her. And I think this is this has been like the most exciting quinceanera to see us because other times you walk in and they're like, but she was like, no, hi. And it, it's very, very heartwarming. You look so pretty. Oh my God, look at the crowd. <laughs> I'm like, here I go again, fixing the dress as soon as I get here. How's your day been? My day has been a little bit, it's been very sweaty. Sweaty? Yeah. It is a hot day. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna do our grand entrance. So boys, go line up with your partners. Where? Line up with your partners, all the way, all, all, all the way down there. You're like VIP. Medwin goes first, where's Medwin? Okay, you first. Diego, Johnny, George. Jonathan. Are you ready? 
So today I am Sophia's main chamberlain and my role today is be there for her, comfort her, make sure that her day is just amazing. I'm gonna cry. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your quinceañera, Sofia Fonte! Oh my gosh, her dress was literally so beautiful and her hair was like, it had like butterfly like clips in it and stuff and she just looked amazing. Like I literally almost cried when I saw it. So I love how lush and realistic the flowers work. I also love the butterflies hanging down from the chandeliers and I love the shades of pink that it was coordinated with. It was really beautiful and it definitely represented me. I really love seeing my clients very happy and like it's not even about the business it's not even about the money it's not even about like AC15 I feel like it's about the experience we create with them because at the end of the day we're in their lives for her quinceañera and it's something that these girls look forward to the you know their whole life it is an honor to be here Oh, that's been sexy. Uh, can you tell? That's been sexy. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's take a good picture, guys. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not funny, like, ah, like. So I don't really talk to him much. It's a little awkward, but from what I see, the way he acts around people, he gets a little off track, but he's a silly dude. So overall, he's a really good dance partner. So yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three, da, and da, and one, two, three, one, two, smash out. I at least want to do one run through with them just like to kind of ease off nerves and kind of just see what happens. One, two, slide, da, spin into that lift. You guys got it, da, 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 ready? Five, six, seven, go, push, push it. There you go, beautiful. Oh, light work. Smile, light work. there you go. <laughs> Santi, you better push in there, Santi. And push it down, there you go, beautiful. And go spin out. Spin now, two, three, ready? Five, six, seven, go smooth. Hey, and in, and slowly smile. Five, four, three, two, one. You know what, guys? We're gonna leave it at that. Yeah, because if we keep doing it, we're gonna overthink it. You just gotta go out there one time, and one time only, and kill this dance. Gorgeous. Yes, how do you feel, Sophie? Nauseous. Nauseous? Are you sure? If you wanna throw up, if you wanna throw up, let's go to the trash can over there. Let's go. I do remember puking before the waltz. We were having trouble with the corset and it was pushing against me. And we like pushed her stomach. That's what you need to do to get her up there. I've never witnessed a quinceañera get sick before her dances. I'm very grossed out by stuff, like really easy. If I were alone in this situation, I don't know what I would have done. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done. I, we did eat Jack in the Box a few minutes in the party bus. Uh, maybe it was the milkshake I had. So if you add the mat together, milkshake plus tying the corset real tight to my stomach would probably equal sickness in the stomach. During the dance, I just try to just smile. Well, like I always do, but I try to smile all the time and just like make sure to show that I am having fun, which I am. <laughs> I'm watching the vibes right now, and Sophia is just stunning. Like she's having the time of her life, enjoying the moment, smiling, not worrying about her dress, and it makes me feel so happy. Like like the raw feelings. Like she wanted this quinceanera, she wanted this dance, and she's. In the moment, it makes me feel very happy. They have this spark, they have this element in them that you rarely ever find in cousins, friends maybe. But these guys, they're gonna give you that sort of feeling that you want during your quinceanera. If you wanna feel like a princess, they're never gonna miss a practice either, and they'll learn anything for you.
Sophia comes to like build relationships and just have fun period. Like it's definitely like makes the experience a lot more, you know, cherishable. I just want to say thank you to Sophia's family and for Sophia. We love you guys so much. Thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. And like, it was literally like an honor to be a part of her quince because it was just amazing. I was extremely happy to show what I can do, how I dance, how I sing, um, my personality during this party. I'm so glad that I got that moment of spotlight in front of all my friends and family. It was amazing. I always saw her pumped, like ready to dance. Like she never got tired. I love it. Honestly, I had a lot of fun in Sofia's Quince. It was one of the best ones I've been in. I love her singing. I love everything that was there. I kind of wish we stayed a little bit longer <laughs> because I loved. <laughs> I just loved the party. I was pissed. Everything was going perfect. You know, dances. Everything was just flawless. And then this happens, and I was like. I feel like he was hiding from me. He was playing hide and seek with me because I would go over there and he would go to the other side. Or like I would go outside and he would go back and sit down. Like I, 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 know, I know what he was doing. I know him too much to, to know what he was doing. I'm about to watch the, the surprise dance. I'm standing right in front of Medwin and I notice that he's in the wrong spot and I'm like, okay. And then his partner tells him to move and I'm like, okay. I know we all make, mis we all make mistakes. We're not all perfect, but you're showing me right now that you messed up. My stomach started turning out of nowhere and I am in pain. And before we entered the, the court to dance, I had a blacked out. Like, I had forgotten everything. I was, and I was like, what am I gonna do? He was upset, he was upset, yeah. Alfredo could have cussed me out right there. Like, you're done, you're fired. If we were some other person out, or another boss, I would have been fired. Oh my god, that was good. That was like, I was mean right there. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Want to be the star of your own reality TV show? Create a personalized mini series of your quinceanera celebration with the creators of the MDQ series. Contact us now to make it happen.